guys, my name is Margot Devrin and I'm a recent graduate of Syracuse University in the College of Arts and Sciences, also the School of Education, but this is a College of Arts and Sciences video. <laughs> I'm from Pittsburgh originally and I've actually um, recently moved here uh, to try and find a job. Uh, my job search, um, I actually didn't have to do very much with my job search. I had one interview and um, I had a second interview yesterday and I am employed! Yay! <laughs> so um, I'll be a high school English teacher um, coming up in the fall, which is really exciting. That obviously has to do with the way I was prepared at Syracuse University and the classes I took and the advice I got from different faculty members and even in my office, in the admissions office. It's all been instrumental in making my experience a good one and making sure I'm employed when I'm finished here. So I'm really happy I've stayed in the Syracuse community and that I've um, made so many connections here and I'm excited to see where this career takes me. Coming from Pittsburgh, which is also, you know, a big city, um, I wasn't expecting how many different things I've been able to do living in Syracuse. You know, there's still so many different cultural exhibits and theater and the things that I love about Pittsburgh. Going to school in Syracuse, you kind of stay very much, you know, on the hill and sometimes you venture out to Destiny USA with your friends, but um, a lot of times you get wrapped up in staying on campus, which is great because it's such a great campus to, to hang out. Um, but living in Syracuse is just kind of a whole different story. Just because you just go to school in Syracuse doesn't mean that you um, should not connect yourselves to like the culture and the people here. I'm working here over the summer as I have been for the past four years, but I've actually never been here during the summer. It seems like there's a lot more going on than I would have expected. Even when you're at home for summer break, uh, the staff and the faculty are constantly working to make sure that the um, incoming students and the returning students are ready uh, when they get here. You should really appreciate that about your faculty when you see them again in the fall. Um, over the summer. There's so many events going on. Um, I actually went to Taste of Syracuse this weekend. I'm kind of a mac and cheese fanatic, so the mac and cheese, I think I had five different restaurant samples of mac and cheese, um, and they were all pretty good. I got to taste food from a hundred different restaurants, and I spent a lot of money even on one dollar samples, um, and it was really good. In the summer, it's actually really nice to hang out around Syracuse. As far as the vlogs go, I have never made a vlog before. Um, I've been here four years. Since Cameron got here, I guess vlogs are what we're doing. So if you're one of my avid blog readers, um, you'll have to switch over to watching me make a fool out of myself in front of the camera. Um, so yeah, there's also a fern in place. So maybe this will be our thing, it'll be me between two ferns, except there's only one fern. Um, and I'm okay with this. So stay tuned for more fun vlogs with ferns and Margot. <laughs> See you guys later. What do you think? Should I have a conversation with it? Do you think it's real? <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure. It feels pretty waxy.